I have now seen Director Comey's letter to Congress. We are 11 days out from perhaps the most important national election of our lifetimes. Voting is already underway in our country. So the American people deserve to get the full and complete facts immediately. The director himself has said he doesn't know whether the emails referenced in his letter are significant or not. I'm confident whatever they are will not change the conclusion reached in July. Therefore, it's imperative that the Bureau explain this issue in question, whatever it is, without any delay. So I look forward to moving forward uh, to focus on the important challenges facing the American people, winning on November 8th, and working with all Americans to build a better future for our country. Thank you. Have you or any of your advisors heard from uh, Comey or anyone else at the FBI today? And are you concerned at all that these new emails that they say they've found will in any way reveal classified information that you sent or received? No, I, I, we have not been contacted by anyone. Uh, first, we knew about it is, I assume, when you knew about it, when uh, this letter uh, sent to Republican uh, members of the House was released. So we don't know the facts, which is why we are calling on the FBI to release all the information uh, that it has. Uh, even Director Comey noted that this new information may not be significant. So let's get it out. You have 11 days to go. What would you say to a voter who right now will be seeing you and hearing what you're saying, saying, I didn't trust her before, I don't trust her anymore right now, and they're heading to the ballot box tomorrow. You know, I think people a long time ago made up their minds about uh, the emails. I think that's factored in to uh, what people think, and uh, now they're choosing a president. So I would urge everybody to get out and vote early in all the states that uh, have early voting, because I think Americans want a president who can lead our country, who can get the economy working for everyone, not just those at the top, and who can bring our country together. I offer that. I can do that. Uh, and I'm very confident that the American people know that. And uh, we're going to continue to discuss what's at stake in this election, because I believe uh, that it's one of the most consequential elections ever. Secretary Clinton. Thanks very much. Secretary Clinton, there are some reports that this, uh, these emails were found on devices that belong to your aide. Uh, Huma Abedin and her um, husband, Anthony Weiner, have you spoken to Huma? Was she able to give you any information about that? You know, we've heard these rumors. We don't know what to believe, and I'm sure there will be even more rumors. That's why it is incumbent upon the FBI to tell us what they're talking about, Jeff, because right now your guess is as good as mine, and I don't think that's good enough. So we've made it uh, very clear uh, that uh, uh, if they're going to be sending uh, this kind of letter uh, that uh, is uh, only going originally to Republican members of the House, that they need to share whatever facts they claim to have with the American people. And that's what I expect to happen. Okay, thanks very much, everybody. Thank you all. from Wiener. This is a letter obtained by CNN, sent by the director, James Comey, the uh, two FBI employees explaining the decision of why he did this today. And I want to read it, and I'll get a response from both of you, including my panel later. Again, this is just in. Uh, director Comey writes this. He says, to all, this morning I sent a letter to Congress in connection with the Secretary Clinton email investigation. Yesterday, the investigative team briefed me on their recommendation with respect to seeking access to emails that have recently been found in an unrelated case. Because those emails appear to be pertinent to our investigation, I agree that we should take appropriate steps to obtain and review them. Of course, we don't ordinarily tell Congress about ongoing investigations, but here I feel an obligation to do so, given that I testified repeatedly in recent months to our that our investigation was completed. I also think it would be misleading to the American people were we not to supplement the record. At the same time, however, given that we don't know the significance of this newly discovered collection of emails, I don't want to create a misleading impression. 
in trying to strike that balance in a brief letter and in the middle of an election season, there is significant risk of being misunderstood, but I wanted you to hear directly from me about it. And it is signed James Comey. To Evan Perez now, what do you make of this explanation? Well, Don, you know, this uh, began with this three-paragraph letter that uh, Jim Comey sent to members of Congress, and he's right. There is a lot to be misunderstood simply because it left more questions than really it answered. And here's why. Because the FBI is really just at the beginning of this process. They found these thousands of emails on these devices, or at least one device that was shared by Huma Abedin and her estranged husband, Anthony Weiner, as part of this investigation into his alleged texting, sexting uh, with a 15-year-old girl in, in North Carolina. The FBI uh, investigators were looking at this and then they came across these emails. They suddenly decided, oh my, we have to bring in this other team that was working on the Hillary Clinton investigation and take a look. So really they, they were kind of caught in between, uh, in, in between very bad choices, right? Which is either disclose this now or wait till after the election. The decision that the FBI director decided on was simply that they could not hold on to this information. They were going to have to bring in other agencies to, to review these emails to see if there's anything classified on them, Don. And so that's the reason why Comey felt he had no choice but to send this letter to Congress today, 11 days before uh, the voters uh, make their decision. On, the campaign on the wrapping up a conference call with reporters just moments ago. CNN's Jeff Zeleny was on that call. He's joining me right now on the phone. So, Jeff, uh, what did the campaign have to say? Well, Frederica, campaign chairman John Podesta uh, said in no uncertain terms that uh, Director Comey, the director of the FBI, must release more information. They renewed their call from yesterday. They said it's been 24 hours since he sent that letter to uh, Capitol Hill and still no more information. So um, he accused him of being light on facts, heavy on indi um, innuendo. That's a quote. He said that you know, this simply has raised more questions and it is uh, going against the um, the uh, traditions of the Justice Department. He also pointed out that the uh, the uh, director was going against the wishes of the attorney general. Of course, that has been uh, reported here on CNN that um, he was advised to not do this. He went ahead and did that. So in this campaign conference call, um, the Clinton campaign is aggressively working to get ahead of this story, to spin this story, to say that uh, Democrats are fired up by this and you know, there's no political fallout. But the reality here is that uh, there is potentially political fallout. It's why they had the conference call. It's why they are trying to rally Democrats uh, around this by saying, look, this is just another a partisan issue. But speaking of partisanship, last night in Des Moines, Iowa, during a press conference on this, uh, the secretary herself uh, said that uh, the FBI director uh, sent this only to Republicans. He sent the letter only to Republicans. Well, I asked John Podesta about that today because the letter actually was sent to Republicans and Democrats. And this is what he said. I if you could clarify the comments that Secretary Clinton made last night. She said the uh, letter was originally sent to Republicans. Um, do you think she misspoke? Um, or, uh, because, as you know, the protocol for sending a letter to the Hill is to send to chairman and then a carbon copy ranking members. Would you like to amend what she said, or do you believe that she was speaking correctly? I think she has seen the front face of the letter, which had, which was addressed to the eight um, uh, members. And Chaffetz took, uh, I, I'm not sure uh, how many nanoseconds in order to release it uh, uh, to the public uh, and try to spin it. So I think that's what she was reflecting. But I think the letter itself, uh, as has been noted, uh, was cc to the Democratic ranking members. It's been the Republican members who have, of course, uh, been uh, browbeating uh, uh, the, the director uh, and, and the career staff of the FBI uh, into going further, reopening the investigation, et cetera. So uh, I think that, uh, as I said, she, she took a look at the front page of the letter. It was addressed to them, and I think that was uh, her reference. But uh, as has been noted, uh, it was, uh, was cc uh, and transmitted uh, to ranking Democrats as well.